Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up Dendry 2x in Fireflows. What Dendry 2x is, is an enemy video upscaler and enhancer. It will double the resolution of any enemy file and enhance the quality. If you go to Dendry 2x's GitHub page, it has more information and some examples. So to get started, we need to first edit our Fireflows Docker container. If you're using the internal processing node, edit the Fireflows server container. If you're using external processing node, edit the Fileflows node of the container. There are two variables we must set. First, we must set the Docker sock. This will allow Docker to spin up the sibling Docker containers. To set this, add a new variable. Uh, it needs to be path if you're using Unraid. If it's if you're using Docker command line, it's a, a volume. The container path, type in slash var slash run slash docker dot sock. Well, host path match the same thing slash var slash run slash docker dot sock the access mode to read only and hit save next we must add temp path host this is an environmental variable so in unraid it, the config type is variable Use, using docker command line it's dash e uh, temp path host is the temporary directory used by fireflows on the local host machine so this must match exactly what we have in the temp directory field. We can just copy this value, click edit, and paste it into here. What this does, it passes the temporary path used by file flows into the sibling container. This means the sibling container will have access to all the temporary files that file flows is creating. So it can access a, a file we are working on, and it will create a new file in that temporary directory so file flows can access it as well once you have set those variables you can play your changes and go into file flows for the next step now back in file flows we go to the scripts page click on repository to open up the script repository find the dendry 2x which is down here select it and click download this will now add this script into our system that we can use in the flow so click on flows click add We'll template use video files since we are uh, processing video files. We will find our script, put that into the flow, connect it up. And what this does is it will find a video file, pass the video file information, send it to this script. This script will make a copy of this file into the temporary directory, spin up dendry 2x, which will also create a new temporary file in the same directory so at this output we are working with a temporary file so we can then move this file to our final location but first we will do a read video info what this will do is it will read the information from the uh, newly created video file this will add the output metadata for the final file if we skip the step the flow wouldn't know about the new video file metadata and it would show nothing in the output of the file so this is purely cosmetic, but it's just nice to have. So once we have read of video file information, we can move that file to its final location. We will connect both nodes up to the move. The second node means it could not read the video information. Um, it shouldn't happen, but if it does, we still want to move a file, so just ignore it hit save and now this will take any video file process with dendry 2x read the video information and move it that's all you have to do to set up a basic flow now if you wanted to continue processing that file after being processed by dendry 2x we would remove a move file we would keep the read video info this is needed so it updates the video file metadata in the flow we can start with fmpeg builder Pick that up and then we could continue processing things like uh, audio normalization um, and anything else we will want to add to, to a flow say for example um, audio converter And then we would just execute FFmpeg as we normally would. Uh, in this case, 
This first output means ffmpeg builder processed a file and created a new one. This means it didn't process the file and didn't create a new one. The, at both points, these are temporary files. The second output would be from the Android 2x. The first output would be from ffmpeg builder. We would still want to move both of those after ffmpeg builder. And that's all you have to do. The key thing is you cannot put the script between ffmpeg builder start and ffmpeg builder executor. This is because it's working on its own temporary file that is outside of ffmpeg builder. So if you had this with inside ffmpeg builder, it would just be ignored. So if you want to use the Android 2x, the key thing is to do it first, read video information, and then start ffmpeg builder as you normally would. All right, that covers it. Um, any questions, just ask on the Discord channel and have a good day.